Hi, I'm Yannick, final year PhD student at the University of Leeds trying to find out what membrane proteins look like on an atomistic level to better understand their function and this is what I do. Okay, you already got a quick impression about what research looks like, but today I would like to take you through the whole process in a bit more detail and share some of my findings with you. So let's go! Here we are at my bench. This is where the magic happens. I'm working with proteins called pyrophosphatases that sit in the membrane of bacteria and parasites of which some cause severe diseases and help them with their resistance to stress. By solving the structure of these proteins, I tried to understand how they do that and design novel inhibitors interfering with their function. One of the first steps towards solving my membrane-bound pyrophosphatase structure is producing the protein. I do this by inserting DNA encoding for my protein into bacteria, which will start to produce it for me. It's as simple as mixing DNA and bacteria, giving them a little heat shock and growing them on an agar plate later on. Since I need milligram quantities of protein later on, I need to scale up my growth to go from a single bacterial colony to many liters of cultures. Go big or go home. After breaking the cells to get on my protein they can reproduce for me and extracting the membranes in which it sits by ultracentrifugation, I can start to purify it using a technique called chromatography. I pass a sample through a column which captures my protein due to a tag that we added but lets other proteins pass. Afterwards I switch to a different column that separates proteins based on their size to polish up my sample. To solve the structure of my protein, I shoot X-rays at it, which are up to 100 billion times brighter than the sun and produced at huge particle accelerators called synchrotrons. The X-rays are diffracted by the electrons in my protein into many different directions. But to be able to detect this diffraction, we need to amplify the signal first by crystallizing the protein, which will lead to the regular arrangement of individual protein molecules in 3D space. The protein crystals are then fished cryocooled and sent to the synchrotron for the diffraction experiment. By measuring the angles and intensities of the diffracted X-ray beam after it hit our protein crystals, we can generate a picture of the electron density map within the crystal.
Now let me show you what the electron density that we get from the x-ray diffraction by the electrons in our protein crystal looks like. You can see it here in blue and it basically describes where all the electrons in our protein sit. Into this we build a model of our protein describing this data and revealing its 3D structure. Pretty cool if you ask me. Back to the membrane bound pyrophosphatases my PGT project is about. Here you can see their overall structure obtained by X-ray crystallography. And I want to find out why some of these proteins pump sodium ions across the membrane, whereas others pump protons. With the structures of a few membrane bound pyrophosphatases solved, it became apparent that helix 5 in the center of this protein at the ion gate moves, which changes the environment to which sodium ions or protons bind. This difference can explain why some membrane bound pyrophosphatases are sodium pumps and others proton pumps. A set of amino acids form a sodium binding site, but when helix 5 moves out, this gets destroyed by their reorientation. Instead, a glutamate can now accommodate a proton. This knowledge helps us to better understand the working mechanism of membrane bound pyrophosphatases. How do they help with the stress resistance in pathogenic bacteria or parasites? Once we understand how they do what they do, we can start to design novel drugs that are supposed to interfere with their function and treat people affected by pathogens carrying this protein. I hope I could give you a little insight into what my PG project is about and what science can look like and maybe even spark your interest in structural biology. Definitely check out the amazing work done at the Asbury Biostructure Laboratory here at the University of Leeds and the Innovative Training Network RUMP. See you!